Hey guys, James Michael Sama back for the third video of this series and it's time to get down to business. We're here to talk to you about becoming the CEO of your own love life. And to do that, you need to know what to pursue, but also what to avoid. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the eight signs that a guy is playing you. I'm gonna to talk to you about the red flags that you have to look for in the very beginning so you can save yourself a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and most importantly, a lot of heartbreak. So far in this series, we've covered the five steps to finding the love that you truly deserve, and we've also talked about the one thing that has been preventing you from finding that one real happy, healthy relationship. If you haven't already seen those videos, go to relationshipstandards.com and you can find them there. If you're here now, check them out in the navigation bar. Now, I've been hinting at the Relationship Standards System, which is a series of videos that comes after this small series here. The purpose behind creating that series was to take you through a 10-step process. The 10-step process starts at finding the real self-worth within yourself, and it ends with maintaining your standards when you're already in a relationship. And each and every single step in between is equally as important. And that's why I've created this for you, to help you define what makes you happy, define the standards that you're gonna hold in a relationship, and define the happiness, most importantly, that you're gonna have within yourself. Because that is the most important thing that you can find. Without that happiness in you, without that real fulfillment that you create within yourself, everything else is just frosting on the cake. But without the cake, it doesn't really mean much. I'm gonna help you build the foundation of your house so that you know what's important and what's valuable and what really matters, not just in life, not just in love, but to you as an individual. And only when that happens are you gonna be able to show your true self to the world. Only when that happens are you gonna be able to bring your vibrant, energetic, amazing energy to everybody who's dying to find you. Only when that happens are you gonna be able to find the men that are looking for you every single day of their lives. Because just like you're looking for the right guy, there are millions of men looking for the right woman. And the question is gonna be, who is that gonna be for you? It's a matter of playing the lottery. Dating is like playing the lottery. You can't win unless you play. And if you never play, you're guaranteed to not win. So what I wanna do is help you find the power within yourself to express who you are to the world and be comfortable and confident and happy in this every single day of your life. And that way, no matter how long it takes to find the right man, you're going to love every second of it because you are happy with you, you are happy with who you are, and you're happy with what you're projecting to the world. This is why I've created this system for you. And this is why I'm so excited for you to be a part of it. Before we get there, I need to tell you something because I'm going to ask a lot of openness and honesty from you during this series, so it's only fair that I'm open and honest with you in return. A lot of the things I'm gonna talk about in this video come from personal experience. See, I would never call myself a player in the past, but I've gone through phases in life, as we all have, and some of my phases included just wanting to go out and have a good time. I didn't always want to have a real committed relationship, so I learned a lot of things along the way and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna protect you from guys like me. It took me a while to get to where I am today, and I understand that having a happy and healthy relationship is a matter of maturity, and it's a matter of going through experiences, and going through phases, and learning what's really important to you. And I went through a lot of times in my life when I didn't really know what was important to me, so I made some mistakes, and I don't want you to make the same mistakes. So what I really wanna do is help you get past that and avoid it without having to go through it. And success in a lot of areas of life happens a lot faster if you learn from the mistakes that other people have made without making them yourself. So that's what we're here to accomplish, to help you fast forward and to bypass and to make these things happen a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently than they do for most people. That's why you're being proactive. That's why you're taking action in your love life to create this happiness, not only with yourself, but with all the people that you're gonna meet along the way. And that's why you're gonna know what to look for in men that are not yet ready for you. That's why you're gonna know what to look for in men that haven't matured to the stage that you're at yet. Because I've been there and I know that there are only certain people in my life that I would appreciate if I met them now. If I met them 10 years ago, I wouldn't appreciate them. I probably wouldn't appreciate you if I met you 10 years ago, but today I do. And I wanna help you find other men like me who will appreciate you for who you really are. And now, let's go into the studio to jump into those eight signs. All right, we are back in the studio for part three. Now this one's important 
because we're going to talk about eight signs that the guy you're dating is playing you. Now some of these I may or may not know from experience from back in the day when I was a completely different person. But what I want to do with the relationship standard system is help protect you from guys who are just playing with your mind and playing with your heart and playing with your emotions. So we're going to run through these eight points so you have things to look for, real red flags. The first of which is that nothing ever moves forward. Because anyone who wants a long-term relationship with you wants progression. You become exclusive, you drop the L-bomb, things get more serious, and keep moving forward. But someone who's playing you will say they want those things, but never follow through. Think about it like an employee who only works hard enough not to get fired. The only time they put in effort is when they're afraid they're going to lose their job. That's not somebody that you want to be around and it's not somebody who's serious about building a relationship with you. Next, if you never get to decide anything. Relationships are about compromise. People who want to see each other happy and put in effort are the people who should be in relationships together. If one partner is taking control without considering your feelings, it's a clear sign that you're just along for the ride. They're just inserting you into their pre-existing life and they're not looking to build one with you, alongside of you, as a team. And I always say that teamwork makes the dream work. It has to go both ways. Next, they're always making you feel guilty. When you finally decide to do something, they'll make you feel guilty for it. This is how they control you. Guys who play with your emotions are trying to increase your insecurity. And by doing this, they're decreasing the likelihood that you're gonna leave them. They make you feel like you can't do anything right. They try to hurt your self-worth. And this is why you need to define your own value. This is why the relationship standard system was designed to help you define your own value. And if you do that, you won't be affected by guys like this because you'll know that what they're projecting onto you has to do with them, not you. And you won't accept it into your life. And that's about raising your standards. Next, they take jabs at your insecurities. Nobody who really cares about you will ever make you feel bad about yourself in any way, no matter how small or harmless their comments are. If a guy's playing you, he's gonna manipulate your emotions. He'll learn the things that you're sensitive about and he's going to capitalize on them. Any guy who cares about you will never do anything like this. Next, pay attention to if he implies double standards all the time. Oh, because it's totally cool if he does that thing, but it's a big no-no if you do it. The next sign is if their level of closeness is always wavering. Someone who really cares about you is going to be consistent. Consistent is a big part of healthy relationships. Without that, you never know what you're going to get. How can you build a foundation with somebody like that? If they become closer to you when they want or need something, but further away when there's no purpose for being around you, this is a big red flag that they're not serious about you, that they're not willing or able to have a real, healthy, committed, consistent relationship with you. Next, if they never make real commitments. This is not just about a commitment to the relationship. This is about a commitment to plans, a commitment to events, a commitment to the future, a commitment to decisions. Lack of commitment to these types of plans shows their commitment to you and the relationship. If you have something coming up six months from now, if he's hesitant about planning it with you, you have to ask yourself why. If he's not serious about the relationship, if he's just playing with you, he might be planning his escape already. Next, if they only do nice things to get what they want. Any act of kindness for the sake of a reward is not real kindness. In a happy, healthy relationship, both partners should give without the obligation or expectation to receive anything in return. Selfless giving, emotional, not material items, from both teammates helps to build a great foundation between two people. Great relationships are not about give and take, they're about give and give. And doing something for him or her so you can get something back is just playing games and being manipulative. Life is too short for playing games with somebody that we're pretending to care about or trying to figure out the games that the person we care about is playing with us. Have the dignity and respect for yourself to walk away from anyone who hasn't grown up enough to treat you as you deserve. The relationship standard system is designed to help you find these standards within yourself, build your own self-worth, and eliminate ever having to deal with these types of guys again. So thank you and congratulations for being proactive enough to take this step forward to creating your own happiness. Now that you have the eight signs to look for in spotting a player early on in a relationship, I wanna know what of these eight signs have you experienced the most often and what do you want to caution other women from avoiding? Leave a comment below this video right now and help other people move past these types of guys. Help other women know what to look for. What have you experienced the most in real life? Leave it in the comments below and visit relationshipstandards.com and enter your email address to get ready for their relationship standard system because now we move into the real serious stuff. And if you are watching on relationshipstandards.com, what you can do is you can enter your email address right below here to come on the early birds list. What's gonna happen with that is you're gonna get notified of when this become available before anybody else. Because I have a feeling since we're already limiting this to a certain number of people, it's gonna sell out really fast. 
If you're on the early bird list, you have a better chance of actually getting access to the relationship standard system. So join us, register below, and get ready to take control of your love life and your happiness. It seems like when I need that little reminder of just how valuable I am, I see one of your posts. I'm back in the dating scene again, and I know whoever comes into my life will respect me because I respect myself. Even though it does get lonely, it is worth the wait to be cherished. You've been a source of positivity for me. After escaping from a horrible, abusive marriage, your posts showed me that not all guys are alike. Your posts show women, and men too, how people should be treated in a relationship. I'm happy to say that I've found my one and only forever guy. Thank you so much. It helps to have a male perspective. You have insight into relationship dynamics and give sound advice without sounding judgmental or biased. You also seem to have an amazing ability to capture what women want and think, so I guess it's easy to feel understood. Raise your standards is my favorite message. This message is true for men and women. We need to put genuine effort into our relationships. Do not settle for texting or hanging out. Expect real communication and effort from each other. Put down the technology and speak with each other. Don't just phone it in from the couch. Your blog gave validation that it was okay to be single, to focus on myself and wait for the right man. And I have found the perfect guy that meets all the criteria that you have always spoken about. I love your posts. Before I found my love, they gave me hope that there were still good old fashioned men out there. Now that I have found one of those men, I still enjoy reading your posts because they make me feel good. Thank you. You remind me that I don't have to settle, that the wrong guy can be toxic, and that I'm better off not in a relationship than in an unhealthy relationship. You make sense. You just make sense. It's all stuff you think would be obvious, but never is. I am thankful that I came across your postings. I have gained hope and a lot of strength many, many times over from your site. Thank you for being you and for sharing it. Hi, Mr. James. You are inspiring every hopeless soul in the world who reads your articles and pointers about relationships and how to deal with it in every aspect of our sufferings and happiness. Good job. James, I have learned more than I can even type here. I've built up my self-esteem, stopped settling for less, and learned what I deserve. I share your posts all the time and tell my friends how awesome you are. Thank you for writing. Please don't stop. Your advice speaks volumes to me. I look forward to reading them. It gives me tips on what to look for in a real loving relationship and to not fall victim to heartbreak and misery. Hi James, I live in India and came across your page randomly one night trying to chase away the blues. I found your page at a time when I certainly needed a reality check and each and every post I read made me say, damn straight, that's exactly right. Thank you for telling us how we should be treated and to never ever settle for disrespect and anything less than pure affection and true chivalry. I owe you an immeasurable debt. Your posts tell me to remember that I am worthy. I've always doubted myself, so your reminders empower me to be who I am and not accept being treated unfairly. Thank you.